Uh, okay, we gotta get rid of this. Alright, hey everybody, make you excited as back for Degapora Volume 1. Chocolate's shoulders drooped down heartily. As they hung their heads, I rubbed them from behind. Wait. I took a look at the little takoyaki seller. Alright, is that? Yeah, no. So it goes. Okay, three orders of takoyaki. Can you do that for me? Her large eyes blinked as she tilted her head in confusion. Yeah, for me and chocolate and vanilla. Could you do that for me? It's going to take time to get home and make food after all. Besides, I want to try the takoyaki here too. Wait, what does that mean? My question was completely ignored. Well, I guess I shouldn't let it bother me, huh? I wondered about about that as I looked at chocolate and vanilla. Happily awaiting their takoyaki in front of the food stand. I still can't get a hold of her. Were the guests over today? When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Since I tried calling Shigiri several times, but I couldn't get through to her. And just like that, it had already gotten this late. I'd never gone this long without hearing from Shigiri. I really didn't understand my family's schedule at all. You haven't even grown that much. What are you two talking about? Vanilla, you're the one changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. Stop being ignorance, you two. Cut that out. The two of them looked my way, but about to distract me again. Since Shigiri isn't picking up, I'll take you two home. So go, go get ready to leave. Chukun and Vanilla turned away from me and cast their gazes downwards. 
returning home on the same way I had moved out. It seemed to be such a stupid idea that I did hesitate a bit. There was no other way, nor there was, was there time for excuses. I looked towards Chico and Vanilla as they hung their heads in silence and continued on. Listen up, you two. I'm going to open up. I'm going to open my bakery. I've got no one to rely on, so I don't. I don't know how things will turn out. With all that's going on, I don't know if I can even take care of you two. Get it? I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after myself. Yes, sir. It was a quiet voice I could barely hear. Chikula said something with her head down. Hmm. What did you say? I came closer and, and asked her to repeat herself. Uh, uh, wait. Hey, Chocoa. Uh, wait, stop. Vanilla, why are you running away to? It's dangerous, so stop running around. If you fall, you'll get hurt. Maybe so, in Chocola's case. Why aren't you bad with physical activity? Come on, I got you now, Chocola. Uh, I am not. It's because you two are running around. Hey, uh, stop it. You're going to run. You're still going to run? Yeah, I got you, Vanilla. What? Chocola, stop. Really stop. <laughs> Chocola. Like I said, stop running. The two of them didn't listen to a word I said as they continued to mess with me. And that was how the first night went. For now, I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. I don't have a guest bed for futons, okay? While all that was happening, the level of the became midnight. Even if I took them home, everyone was sure to be asleep by now. The one glimmer of hope I had that Shigiri would call me back didn't happen. So I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first n priority. <laughs> Cleverly, they had even brought pajamas. Just how much planning went into their schemes, anyway? Really? If you two sleep there, where will I? Don't get ahead of yourself, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. I watched the two of them lie down, curl up, on the floor of an empty room, without even curtains. That's way too pitiful of a sight to be called praiseworthy. Oh, sorry. Wait. I think. Let me do that. I interrupted. That's something only strange people would say. Where do these cat girls get this information from anyways? Well, they they probably read a lot of books and watch TV in Shigiri's room. 
Dracula isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads picture books, though. Uh, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. It's so gets pretty cold at night in April, after all. I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room. The sofa can fit one person, and there's air conditioning in there if I need it. Wait, did I get this right? Yeah, I think I did get it right. They move quickly towards me like lions catching their prey. I placed my hands on her hands and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up. I will sleep on the sofa and you two will sleep in the bed. In my bed. Those are your master's orders. Understood? I said like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. They lowered their heads apologetically. They mustered out. They looked like they were on the verge of tears. Their obedience had the exact opposite of the effect I expected it. It filled me with guilt. I felt a prickly sensation in my chest. That pain left me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Hi. Good night. If anything happens, call for me right away. I gently rubbed the heads of the two dispirited dispir cat girls once more. See you in the morning. With that said, I turned the lights off in the room. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart before it came even sharper. It, I saw that pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay if it's just for one night. Don't worry about it. Now then, go to sleep. I really shouldn't act on my emotions, huh? I lay down on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions, the result would just lead to more sadness. I, if I use kind or hopeful words, they would all end up as lies. It's pretty uncool for me, of me to be so passive like this. While I continue to pile on insults and make excuses for my actions. I close my eyes and wait for the sleep to take over. Was, was what she told me when I was finally able to get in touch with her. Without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. But Chikiri, even if, even if you say that, I don't think Jacole and Vanilla will. Don't make it sound like it's a daily ritual or something. In any case. Wait, Shigiri. Seriously? 
As the ruthless electronic buzz of, of the drop called echoed, I stared at my cell phone. I hear, here I thought I could sort all this out if I could, could just talk to Shigiri. Doesn't seem to be. <laughs> the cake girls in the question were happily stuffing themselves with sandwiches. These sandwiches incidentally contain tomato, cheese, and lettuce. Uh, maybe an LT, I guess. But cheese doesn't count. With an over easy fried egg tucked inside of all that, it was a simple meal. Or, in other words, ELT, there we go. <laughs> Wait, did it say last one to me? Oh, yeah, it did, it did, it did. Okay, I got it right. Rippus was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? Stop with the deliberately misleading words. I sighed at their happy go lucky mindset. I took the opportunity to fill their empty glasses with milk. The eating habits of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans, so that part was straightforward. Of course, what they liked and disliked depended on each individual cat girl. In the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Today, I, re I really do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening, too. That's why I don't have time to relax and play with you, too. Be good girls and go home. I said that to them with a sandwich in my hand. She put her sandwich down on her plate. And just like yesterday, she looked at me with upturned eyes. Yeah, it's a problem. I answered her clearly. Her shoulders drooped more than before. The ears which sat atop of her head drooped down heartily too. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanilla only l could look on with concern. <laughs> the pain from last night. I pricked my heart again. I tilted the already cool, cool coffee cup. As my emotions stalled, I'm with my by my judgment. <laughs> Her usually always perky, perky ears were drooping. Shaku was speaking clearly under her own violation. Vanilla's usually blank expression did not change. However, she showered me. She showed me at her strong determination. I don't remember Chocolo or Vanilla ever being this dis disobedient. That's, that thought stayed at back in my mind. But if I was going to be swayed by that, then I wouldn't have said this. That understood? Hmm? ご注文ありがとうございます。ロイヤルウッドです。ご注文いただきましたティーセットの配達にお伺いしました。ではこちらお店の中に運んじゃいますね。こちらのダンボールで全部ですね。では間違いなければ受領書にサインをいただいても
No, the stuff I ordered in, is in here too, but... I looked over at the pile of boxes inside the bakery. Inside of my tiny bakery was a mountain boxes. A mountain? It was as if at the inside of the bakery had become completely made of boxes. As you can see, we don't need this much tableware inside the bakery. すみません。すぐに本社に確認しますので。少々お待ちいただいてもよろしいでしょうか。Accept this order? Huh? All this? The mountain of cardboard boxes towered over everything. I was lo at loss for words. Every box was of equal size. I wouldn't know what was inside each of them without opening them up. On top of that, looking at the sales invoice, I could see that they all contained expensive tea sets and tableware. And if I accepted it all, it would be a lot of work to deal with all the new items. Um, it, there's still things I need doing in advance of my bakery's opening, so I don't mind accepting these. But if it, it's going to take a while to deal with all this. Look, you don't need to put all this pressure on me. From the looks of it, it would take two hours or more. But to have it redelivered, it would, would take double the effort, too. Hmm? <laughs> That's right, I have a lifeline. Oh, it gets rid of the comment, but oh well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for videos. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I upload. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye. You guys take care.